Hello everyone and welcome to another Monkey Around Monday. That's what I'm calling them now. <laughs> As you can tell my hair is all poofy and I'm so my pajamas and that's because it's summer and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Anyways, today's going to be a pretty quick video. I'm going to be doing the m Monkey Maniacs. <sighs> Bear with me guys. The Monkey Maniacs first tag. So the first question is, what was my first introduction to the monkeys? I was first introduced to the monkeys, you know, last year around September, I got into the Beatles and I got more into 60s cultures and stuff. And so my mom thought, hey, you might like these guys. And so she recorded an episode of the monkeys and she showed it to me. She was like, watch this, I think you'll like it. And you know, I fell in love with them. <laughs> So, second question, my first Monkeys album. I don't have any of their albums on vinyl, and I'm really sad about that, but my dad did buy me the Best of the Monkeys album on iTunes, so I guess that, that counts. <laughs> Third question is my first Monkey song that I heard, I assume. So, you know, I've, I've probably heard, um, like, Daydream Believer and I'm a Believer before this, like, I don't know which one of them I heard first, but I know I've heard them before I got into the monkeys, but I didn't know who it was. So those, but the first one I heard once I became a fan was Randy Skouskit, I think. My first thought or impression about the monkeys was, I don't know, I saw them all over Instagram because you know lots of people who were into the Beatles when I first got into them were into the monkeys and I was like, oh, these guys seem cool. But I never really got into them until my mom showed me them. And I was like, oh, these guys, all right. Yeah. My first monkey's crush was obviously Mike, and it's remained that way. I still love him. The very first monkey's episode, the one my mom showed me, it was art for monkey's sake. I remember it very vividly. First monkey's misconception is probably that... I don't know. Probably that they played all the instruments on their early recordings, because I didn't know about the whole thing that they didn't when I first got into them, so probably that. <laughs> My first embarrassing monkeys moment. Okay, I guess this counts. Eventually I'm going to tell you guys about the time that I met Mickey Dolenz, but my first embarrassing monkeys moment was um, when I met Mickey Dolenz. You know, we were in this little coffee shop, and his sister was performing, you know, and, you know, he was there, and there was only one bathroom in the place, and literally every time he got up to go to the bathroom, I had to go to the bathroom too. So, like, you know, sometimes he'd be coming out of the bathroom, and then I'd be standing there, or, like, I stood in line next to him for, like, three minutes, and it was really cool but really scary. And I kind of think he thinks I'm a stalker, but it wasn't my fault, I just had to pee a lot because I was excited and I drank a lot of water. <laughs> yeah, so that was pretty embarrassing, so I think he kind of hates me now, but it's, it's fine. <laughs> my first impression of Head was, wow, this is really, really weird, but I like it now, <laughs> so. A bonus. Um... I guess I could tell you my first favorite monkey song was Papa Jean's Blues, and I loved it the first time I heard it, and it was my favorite for a really long time. And yeah. So that is my monkey's first tag, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next Monday.